स्टूडेंट्स इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल का एक केस यहाँ पे हम लेने वाले हैं जिसमें विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्शन एंड इक्विटोरियल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड वेरी कॉमन रिजल्ट्स कई बार पूछे जाते हैं तो ये भी नोटबुक में इन चीज़ों को भी साथ में फिट कर लीजिए एंड इन रिविजन चेकलिस्ट वीडियो सारी चीज़ें मैंने एज इट इज़ यूज़ करी हैं तो रिविजन चेकलिस्ट के शॉर्ट नोट्स अपने साथ हैंडी रखिए दैट इज गोइंग टू एक्सट्रीमली हेल्प यू नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द केस इट्स इज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू क्रॉस द डाइपोल्स टू आइडियल इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल्स ए एंड बी हैविंग देर डाइपोल मोमेंट्स पी वन एंड पी टू यहाँ पे एक ए डाइपोल है एक ये बी डाइपोल है they are placed on a plane with their centers at o as shown in the figure and at point c on the axis of dipole a the resultant electric field is making an angle 37 degree with the axis so ratio of dipole moments a and b we need to calculate so if we just carefully look at the result ek ye dipole hai a aur ek ye dipole hai b direction minus 2 plus hoti hai that uh, all of you should know this p2 and this p1 aur yahan pe c point ke upar if we wish to check the electric field pehli cheez यहाँ क्वेश्चन में स्पेसिफाइड नहीं है बट क्योंकि डाइपोल्स दिए गए हैं तो हमको ये वाली डिस्टेंस लार्ज लेके ही सॉल्व करना है दैट्स व्हाट यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड इफ दिस डिस्टेंस इज आर पी वन यानी ए की वजह से यहाँ पे इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड होगा ई वन विच वी राइट एस टू के पी वन बाई आर क्यूब दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट एन एक्शल पॉइंट नाउ पी की वजह से देखें तो यहाँ पे इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इस डायरेक्शन में होगा ई टू इज के पी टू क्यूब सो अगर यहाँ रिजल्टेंट फील्ड देखते हैं तो दिस मेक इन एंगल थर्टी डिग्री With the axis, so this resultant electric field here. Here we can use 1037 is equals to E2 by E1. This is what we can use. And 1037 here is 3 by 4. E2 by E1. If you substitute K by R cube, gets cancelled out. This P2 by 2 P1. So directly we are getting P1 by P2 is equals to. This two cancel will get. This 2 by 3. That is the result of this problem. Thank you, Poojee. So we'll take up another case of a volume charge density inside a non-uniform charge distribution. कई बार situation ऐसी होती है कि non-uniform charge distribution के case को देख के हम question को छोड़ देते हैं. But you need to be careful in all such cases. That's very important. Here it says for a charged spherical ball, electrostatic potential inside the ball varies with R as potential given है 2 A R square plus B, where A and B are constant and R is the distance from the center and it is asking the volume charge density inside the ball is minus lambda I epsilon naught. तो उनको lambda का value निकालना है. बहुत सारे स्वर्ण ने when the question was asked in JEE main question पढ़ के छोड़ दिया था because the non-uniform distribution of charge is apparent here because potential is proportional to R square. But if you just have a look on the situation, it says If V is given to us as 2A R square plus B, we can calculate the electric field by using the relation minus dV by dR. This gives us 4A R uh, with a negative sign, which indicates the direction in inward direction because here in the question, there is a ball given. So, this ball ke under at a distance x, if we look at it, and at a distance r, we see the electric field inward. Hai. The value of electric field is 4A R. So, if you look at it here, if it is given to us as proportional to R, that means it is a uniform charge distribution. It is not non-uniform. It seems in the question that the potential is non-uniform, or R square is proportional, then something will happen. But if you look at it here, if there is a uniformly distributed charge in the ball, then the potential is R square is proportional. And you can write the electric field inside as, we can write as electric field is proportional to R. This implies, E can be written as rho r by 3 epsilon naught, and uh, rho is constant. If you have uniform charge distribution, होता है तो electric field proportional to r होता है. So in this situation, this given to us as 4 a r. So in this case, अगर हम यहाँ charge density rho की बात करते हैं, तो volume charge density what is needed is 12 a epsilon naught. Because r gets cancelled out, अगर आप compare करेंगे this with lambda a epsilon naught, because minus sign is already there. In the expression of electric field, the value of lambda we are getting is 12. That's the answer to this problem. थैंक यू पोजी अनदर डायरेक्ट केस बट दिस यूजफुल क्योंकि अभी तक हमने इस तरह का केस नहीं लिया है दिस इज ऑल्सो टू बी कैप्टन माइन एंड ऑलवेज वेरी यूजफुल वर्क डन इन रोटेटिंग अ डाइपोल इन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड द केस सीज एन इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल ऑफ डाइपोल मोमेंट इज गिवन बाई दिस वैल्यू कोलम मीटर इज गिवन टू अस प्लेज इन यूनिफॉर्म इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव टू टेन टू पॉइंट थ्री न्यूटन पर कोलम इन सच वी दैट डाइपोल मोमेंट इज अलॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड The work done in rotating dipole by 180 degree in this field we are required to calculate. So here in solution you can directly write Work done in rotation 
of a dipole if you wish to calculate you can directly write work done in rotation of a dipole is work you can write as pe cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 directly you can make use of this relation so value agar substitute karte hain p is given to us as 6 into 10 to power minus 6 multiplied by field is 1.5 into 10 to power 3 initially the dipole moment is along electric field or work done nikalna hai 180 degree rotation ka so theta 1 is 0 so cos 0 is 1 minus of cos 180 is minus 1 this becomes 2 so this gives us uh, 6 multiplied by 1.5 is 9 into 2 is 18 multiplied by this 10 to power minus 3 joule that is the result of this problem. Another case for calculation of torque on electric dipole these are all fundamental concept definition and formula based cases but aapko ye dhyan mein rakhne hai because uh, when we talk about the electric potential dipole field similar questions are very frequently asked or jin students ka basic level pe taiyari hai if they excel on such cases they can easily be able to hit it. Like here it is asking torque on a dipole due to external electric field it says two charges each of magnitude 0 0.01 coulomb and separated by a distance of 0.4 mm constitutes an electric dipole. If the dipole is placed in a uniform electric field of 10 dyne per coulomb making an angle 30 degree with electric field, the magnitude of torque we need to do. So you need to be careful in the given situation, formula is all given, but in unit conversion, we miss a lot of things and lose a So you can see charge is 0 0.01 coulomb and separated by a distance of 0.4 into 10 to power minus 3 meter. So this gives you the dipole moment P is equals to QD. As you have got the value of QD, it is asking now uniform electric field 10 dyne per coulomb. So this 10 and 1 newton is 10 to power 5 dyne. So this 10 into 10 to power minus 5 newton per coulomb. I directly change kar leta 30 degree angle with the electric field. So it is asking the magnitude of torque acting on dipole. So directly here we can write torque on dipole is if electric field is given in a direction or dipole is placed at an angle theta. So torque is written as PE sin theta. So in this situation directly you can get the value of torque as P is this 4 into 10 to power minus 4 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 this 4 into 10 to power minus 6 multiplied by 10 into 10 to power minus 5 multiplied by sin 30 is 1 by 2. So the value of torque we are getting is 2 multiplied by here it is 10 to power minus 6 and 10 to power minus 4 this 10 to power minus 10 Newton meter that is the result of this problem.